What's going on, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi. This is YBE TV. Uh, we're about to dive into a revised version of old truck versus new truck because I got a couple people that was asking me questions. Uh, the last video I put out did great. The responses was great. You know, the participation of you guys was awesome. Um, I definitely want to get back into that before we do that. Let's pay some bills. Hit me up at www.ybetv.org. Go down to Ask Tune. You already know. Go to that. And I got t-shirts. I got a business marketing class. I got a business credit building course where I teach you how to set up your business and market your business. We got uh, we got hoodies. We got um, man, we we just got all types of stuff. So go to www.ybetv.org and support, man, support so the channel could keep on growing and I could give you this great information you already know. All right. So with that being said, all right. Now old trucks versus new trucks. It's all about preference. It's never a, a thing where people say uh, one is better than the other because that's not true. That is definitely not true uh, because I, I'm, I'm one of them type of people that if you go give me a 2007 Volvo or a 2007 Freightliner, it is, it's kind of yay or nay with that. Because, like, the Freightliner is a little bit louder, you know, of course. You're not going to get the insulation that you would get in a newer truck. Now, let's just say if it was more insulated and the, the gift shift is smoother, you know, because Freightliners didn't start shifting smooth until you got to, like, the 09s, which is the Cascade. But even the 09s, it's all about preference. Because the, the biggest thing is, the biggest side, people say, Oh my God, I can't believe that a person would actually say that they want to own the truck. Why not? Why wouldn't you want to own the truck? Because I want you to think of it this way. When you're thinking about trucks and why I say it's about preference is, think about when the Max Force engine first came out. Which one would I rather have now? A Max Force, uh, one of those Max Force engines, which is garbage now, or a Max Force engine before? Now, from my understanding now, it's been found out that it's the new DEF region that's making those things uh, 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 ridiculously a uh, 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 hunk of man. They, they, they pretty much a uh, uh, hunk of junk. So the way that they got that way is the region system, the DEF system, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that, uh, 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 that cleaner air, you know, uh, uh, situation. Now, with that being said, now they know that, so there's a lot of people that's deleting them. They paying 2500 bucks and they deleting them and they're getting over a million miles on them, from my understanding. That's what I was told. Not 100% sure. But let's just look at it this way. When you're looking at an old truck and you're looking at a new truck, the old truck is like, it, it, if you got a 2001 Volvo, if you took care of that truck, it's no longer 2001. Because most likely you didn't rebuild the engine. You done rebuilt the trans. You done probably redid the, uh, the rear end. You, you changed the turbo a couple times, possibly. You done did so much work on it, and you're consistently doing work, that it's really not too many parts from 2001 on that truck anymore. The majority of the parts on that truck is 2007, 2010, 2012, 15, and better. You know what I'm saying? So, so with that being said, it's like, our, when you really look at a truck like that, only thing that's a 2001 is the body. The body is a 2001, and the interior possibly not because you probably updated that because you made a, 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 a lot of money with it. So it's all about preference. People like, there's a lot of people say, well, you don't break down as much as new trucks. All lies. All lies. I see a lot of new trucks in the shop because they got these new these region systems. They really trying to work the kinks out. From my understanding, they say they're getting better within the new trucks. They kind of getting it better. They starting to you know work with them a little better, and it's getting a little bit better with the newer trucks. But at the same token, in all actuality, like honestly, I really don't see. It. I really don't see. Uh, uh, um, how can I put it? Like I, I really don't see where it's necessary to get a new truck just so you could get something that's worth it. Now, if you do diligence with an older truck, now let's just say, okay, you do go to the uh, auction. And let's just say in six months, you're gonna get a breakdown. You go to, a, to the auction and you get a truck for $7,000, seven grand. You go, but you do, or, or you go and you find somebody with a truck and you pay 12 grand for it. 
little freight line or something, got 975,000 miles on it. About to crack up that 100,000. Now, in six months, it's going to break down. Let's just say it's fully about to break down in six months. Now, I got a question for you. In six months, it's going to break down. Now, you go out there and you make a two grand a week with that truck. You put $500 away every week. Little stuff breaking here now, but you're putting $500 away. Six months, you get a breakdown. You got to rebuild the motor. $15,000. Okay. Cool. You're putting $500 away every week for maintenance. Cool. Now, same thing with a new truck. You make it two grand a week. And in six months, you're going to break down a major breakdown. The, the, the DPF uh, system is going to take a crap. $14,000 to fix. Okay. In six months. You're going down the road. Now, you got a truck note, most likely, because you got a newer truck. You pay $75,000 for it. You got a newer truck. You're going down the road. You're paying your truck note, and you're putting away. Now, you got to look. Now, if you look at it from this standpoint and say, you know what? I'm just going to go crazy hard. With this two, $2,500, i am going to pay myself a note straight to maintenance, and I'm going to put up for maintenance. So, you're putting up $800 a week, and you're just keeping 12 for yourself. Putting $800 a week for the truck. So, with that being said, what do you do? Now you got a note that doesn't stop because you broke down. And you got a truck that's new that you thought was going to be the end all be all. So you thought it was going to be okay. But that's what the whole point is. It's no guarantee with any truck, new or older, that in six months you don't break down. But the only thing I can say, with an older truck, most likely you're going to cash it out. You can just sit on the side and not have a note. It's one perk of when I break down. I ain't got to worry about no note. Only thing I got to worry about paying is insurance, plates, things of that nature. My fixed costs. You got to worry about insurance, plates, all your fixed costs, plus a car note, plus the, the missed income and the cost to fix the truck. Same thing on the other side minus the truck note. See what I'm saying? So it's all about preference. And I'm just one of the people that I look at it this way. The majority of people that's going out here and they grabbing these newer trucks, they paying on them and blah, 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 this, this, and this. The majority of the, and they starting off with one truck. They had that truck for a while, then they go to the next truck. The majority of people I know like that got one or two trucks. The other people that's got older trucks, they be having eight, nine, ten trucks. I don't know. When you go to these, I'm not going to do a, do about race. When you go to these companies and you look at these, like, go look at these uh, these these foreigners coming up here. They not getting these new trucks. They going to get these older trucks. And they starting fleets with them. They running them up and down the road. They putting people in them and they paying them good. They paying them good. All the places that I know that pay well to their company driver, a thousand, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a week. You pulling up in a 2005 Volvo, a 2004, 2005, 2003 Freightliner, and you running loads and you making a, a, a ton of money, and they keeping these these trucks on the road and they doing what they need to do. So that's what I'm saying. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of getting the fleet, getting the older trucks, and then as I get to a point where I got a residual, is money, then I'll buy newer trucks, most likely. I'll probably get newer trucks, but till then, Nothing but older trucks but for your boy Tony. You already know what it is. It's your boy Tony. This is YBE TV. And if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of YBE.